Welcome to Kamudri Global. Pre-packed and labeled wheat flour, papad, paneer, curd and buttermilk will be taxed at 5% after the GST council decided to stop allowing exemptions on such items while raising rates on a host of others. The GST council at a two-day meeting accepted recommendations for rate rationalization made by different groups appointed by it resulting in tax changes, Union Finance Minister Nirmala Sitaraman told reporters. The tax rate changes will come into effect from July 18th. However, the council decided to refer the report of the GOM group of ministers on casinos, online gaming and host racing back to the panel of ministers for further deliberation. The finance minister of Goa wanted further discussions on GST rate to be applicable on casinos and in that context both online and host racing too would be relooked. The panel had recommended 28% GST levy on all the three activities and equal them to gambling. The report is expected to be ready by July 15th and would be taken up by the council in the next meeting in August. GST rates tweak to hit common man. The ending of exemption would mean pre-packed and labelled meat except frozen fish, paneer, lassi, honey, dried leguminous vegetables, dried makna, wheat and other cereals and puff rice muri will now attract a 5% tax. Similarly, an 18% GST will be levied on treta packs and fees charged by banks for the issue of cheque, loose or in book form. Maps and charts including atlases will attract a 12% levy. Goods that are unpacked, unlabeled and unbranded will continue to remain exempt from GST. Besides, a 12% tax will be levied on hotel rooms costing less than Rs 1000 a day. At present, that falls under exempted category. A 5% GST will be levied on hospital room rent above Rs 5000 per day, excluding ICU. Tax rates have been raised to 18% on products such as printing, writing or drawing ink, knives with cutting blades, paper knives and pencil sharpeners, LED lamps, drawing and marking out instruments. Solar water heater will now attract 12% GST as compared to 5% earlier. Some services such as work contracts for roads, bridges, railways, metro, effluent treatment plants and crematoriums too will see tax going up to 18% from the current 12%. Tax has however been cut on the transport of goods and passengers by ropeways to 5% and on ostomy appliances to 5% from 12%. Renting of truck goods carriage where the cost of fuel is included will now attract a lower 12% rate as against 18%. GST exemption on the transport of passengers by air and from northeastern states and Bagdogra has now been restricted to economy class. Services rendered by regulators such as RBI, IRDA and SEBI will be taxed and so will be on renting of the residential dwelling to business entities. Also, electric vehicles, whether or not fitted with a battery pack, are eligible for the concessional GST rate of 5%. The GST Council also decided to ease processes for intrastate supplies made through e-commerce portals. Now, such suppliers will not have to obtain GST registration if their turnover is lower than Rs 40 lakh and Rs 20 lakh for goods and services respectively. This will come into effect from January 1, 2023. The Council has also decided to constitute a group of ministers to address various concerns raised by the states in relation to constitution of the GST Appellate Tribunal and make recommendations for appropriate amendment in CGST Act. The GOM on IT reforms inter alia recommended that the GSTN should put in place the artificial intelligence or machine learning based mechanism to verify the antecedents of the registration applicants and improve risk based monitoring of their behavior post registration so that non complaint taxpayers could be identified in their infancy and appropriate action could be taken so as to minimize risk of ex shekel. I'm Neha signing out. If you like the video, please subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to get the latest updates.